So why learn Mandarin Chinese at Stanford School for GCSE? Good question. Number one, there's five reasons here that I've included in this PowerPoint. Number one is Mandarin Chinese is the most widely spoken language in the world, with Chinese being the written language and Mandarin being the dialect. Cantonese, Shanghainese, lots of other dialects, but Mandarin is the main one and all use Chinese characters, so that's why it's called Mandarin Chinese. Um, Mandarin has a billion speakers all over the world, not just in China, and it's very exciting time to be learning Mandarin. Uh, Chinese people in general are exceptionally warm and welcoming, welcoming when you're trying to learn another language. Number two, the Chinese language is a portal into an amazing culture. And um, so whether it's you're learning about Azim, Kung Fu, um, you love Chinese food, if you're into calligraphy, there's 5,000 years of history and culture. And number three, Chinese proficiency creates countless economic opportunities. I've seen this from my friends that have traveled through China and Taiwan over the past 12 years, um, opening restaurants, starting businesses, um, becoming musicians, some of them go into acting, they've found a rich life from adding Mandarin to them or already learned skills. Um, myself, I got into football, I couldn't be a professional footballer in the UK, and I wasn't professional in Taiwan, but I got to travel the country playing football. Um, with lots of national play teams. They're not a great country with football, but it was, it was incredible to be able to travel with football just because I spoke Mandarin as well. Um, so it would just create so many more opportunities for you beyond what you'd be able to get from speaking English in the UK. Furthermore, a lot of international businesses want to hire you. I worked for Alibaba for a while and um, just on cases that could speak Mandarin. Um, and a lot of companies are looking for more than one language, especially post Brexit. It will really um, make you stand out from the crowd if you can be fluent in English plus another language. I believe more as you can order. Um, my path from learning Mandarin was from teaching English. Um, this is a really good career choice. Post universities, you get so many uh, opportunities and it just opens your door opens all your doors for later in life. So anywhere in, in the world really, but China in particular, in the Chinese speaking world, you can uh, find opportunities to teach English as a second language. Number four, travel. Um, travel in China is incredible. Um, and using Mandarin to get around is essential. Um, places that are a little bit harder to reach, a little bit less touristy, but pretty much impossible to travel through without speaking Mandarin to a good level. Being able to read signs and menus, and, um, especially if you've got any allergies or um, dietary requirements, we need to be able to spot these things on menus and express ourselves in restaurants. This one's really interesting, um, a lot of research ever since I've been learning Mandarin, a lot of scholars and researchers have talked about this, about which parts of the brain are activated when you're learning different languages. Um, and most researchers, most research points to the fact that when you learn Mandarin, um, different parts of your brain are activated, um, exercise in different parts of your brain. And in my personal experience, you know, Beauty and the Beast play, a lot of the orchestra, a lot of the musicians were also excellent Mandarin learners. Um, I love people who learn Mandarin are good at other subjects as well because you get to exercise your mind a little bit more than just using English. That's just my opinion, by the way. Um, so these pictures are from Mandarin learners in Kenya and India, all over the world as Mandarin um, learners trying to get to grips with this language because it's, it's going to be important in the future in terms of uh, the economy. Um, 
So, quote here from Nick Morrison says, learning Chinese opens doors to job opportunities. Um, but my face is in a way where it says learning a language um, is not just for business, basically. There's lots of other reasons to learn a language. Chinese grammar is easier than you think. You probably, for those of you in year nine, um, you probably already realised that in some ways learning Chinese is a lot easier than people think if they don't learn it, especially the grammar. Of course, the writing system's hard, um, but once you get to grips with that, the grammar is quite easy. There's only there's no conjugation like in French and Spanish, so some ways it is easier. Online, it is worth it. Um, this list of ten dream jobs you might not see your dream job in there, but I could I could argue that every job that you come up with and you want to do in the future, having a second language such as Mandarin will give you. Um, it will double your choices, it will double your opportunities, you know, teaching in the UK, speaking another language, you can teach in that country as well, being a doctor or a nurse, if you can't do it in the UK, where else can you do it? Musician, I've got friends who are musicians who've gone around the world um, with their second language, it just gives them much more opportunity. Okay, so what you can think of as a job that you want to do in the future, having that second language just gives you more opportunities. Maybe you don't make it in the Premier League as a footballer, but you can go and play in the Chinese Super League maybe. That's it, thank you. I hope you think very carefully about choosing Mandarin for GCSE. It's a brilliant course um, and it just keeps getting better and better. Thank you, bro. See you again.